So which of these two alkenes is more stable? Well, we know that generally speaking, an alkene with four substituents is going to be more stable than an alkene with three substituents, which in turn is going to be more stable than an alkene with two substituents, which in turn is going to be more stable than an alkene with only one substituent on it. So looking at our two molecules, the one on the left has one, two, three, four substituents on the alkene, while the one on the right has only one, two substituents on our alkene. But remember, alkenes have sp2 hybridized atoms, which means that they should have 120 degree bond angles. But if we look at the four-membered ring that we have over here, the bond angle that we are going to be seeing there is somewhere around 90 degrees, which means that the molecule is going to be experiencing a huge angular strain, significantly decreasing the stability of this molecule. So even though the molecule on the left has more groups around our double bond, the molecule on the right is going to be significantly more stable due to the absence of the angular strain that you would have in a four-membered ring.